Fear is one of the most dominating emotions that controls the world. Probably, I mean, just incredible that if you look, look in the world, this election season, <laughs> whole thing is run on the basis of fear. The reason why you, are, you belong to one party? Because of fear. Reason why there's a two candidate? Because of fear. Reason why they fight with each other? Because of fear. So it's, it's clearly a very dominating uh, part, but you know, of course there is always a differences. There is a dif differences of opinions, and, uh, and there is a truth in every side. Uh, there is a very good system of democratic system of election. So in some sense of utilizing the best of the system and trying to do the best, holding everybody in each other's prayer, even the way people run the election is also, you see, you see so much fight, so much negativity. And the reason why I'm saying that you, f you see that negativity. Talking about the demon, I mean, they are, these are demons. When, they, it's, when these words come out, If you look one way, you get angry because somebody else's demon is inviting your demon. <laughs> or when somebody says, uses those words, you feel your heart opens, you feel compassion, you hold in prayers. And that's what we're supposed to do here, is not get angry, but hold in that space. If, the two, two, if, if, if in principle, if there's a two candidate, the candidate you really don't believe in needs more prayer than the candidate you need. Probably we don't do that. We do the other way around. I pray he wins. I pray she wins because I love. I believe. No, it should be opposite. You hold in the prayer somebody who needs more at least from your opinion, your point of view, you hold that person in prayer. And if you, if you hold like that, you clearly see we're not seeing the person, we're seeing only words. We're hearing only words. We're not maybe even hearing really words. We are hearing the negativity. We are not only hearing general negativity, we are hearing very specific threat that threat which is translates by your own fear and emotions. Something comes out of there, when it arrives in you, it's so, totally something different. Aversion changes. And it, uh, some, somehow we think objectively, we think it has something to do with only outside from some, or somebody. But we don't think how much we are part of it, how much we interpret, how much we develop, how, we, how much we make it a personal. That part we are not fully aware. Because that part is in a way we need to be aware that part is because our part, your part, that's personal part. And that part is the most important a part which gives the development your development, because it's your character, your personality, your fear. And those are the areas these teaching ask, uh, is suggesting to touch. <clears throat> 